Um, okay, today we're going to learn how to make decorative boxes out of used greeting cards. You make them different sizes depending on the size of the card. The beauty is that all you need is your card, some scissors, and a pencil. The first thing you're going to do is open up your card. I've already cut this one, but you'd be opening up your card and you cut it right down the seam. So now you have your bottom of your box and the top of your box. Most cards are going to give you a rectangle, but you need a square. So the first thing we want to do is we want to cut out the top of our box. So you're just going to take the bottom of your box and just put it right there on the edge. Draw a line and cut that end off. And now you have a square that's going to be the top of your box. Now you need the bottom of your box and you need the bottom of your box to be a little bit smaller, about a quarter inch smaller than the top of your box. So to do that, you're going to line it up just like so, where as you can see I've got this edge and this edge about a quarter inch. I'm going to just put that over because of the color you can't see it very well. I'll just draw a line right here. This is where I'm going to cut this off. I need to cut just a little bit more of this off right here so that it is a little bit smaller than the top. So now I don't know if you can tell, but it ends up being about that much tinier than the top. So I have two squares. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to take, you can take a ruler if you'd like to. You want to do it on the side that's not going to be seen and you're lining up. I'm going to use this just so that you can have a contrast to see, but you're going to line up from corner to corner. And you don't need to go the whole way, but you're just going to draw a line in the center. Do the same with the other. If a ruler helps you, that's fine. But I'm lining up here and here. And I'm drawing. So I've got an X right there in the center. I'm going to do that to both of these. Corner to corner. Draw me an X. And then other corner to corner. From here to here. Now I've got the X in the center of both of those. This is my bottom, this is my top. So now comes the folding part. I'm going to take the corner and fold it into the center of that X. And then with your finger, or if you prefer to use something else, you can make that a nice flat edge. And it's fine to bend it back, you just need that crease. You're going to do that to all four corners. The point all the way to the center, make a nice firm crease all the way around. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do, it's hard to see, but if you can see that we've made some creases here, 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 and here. So now I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to Fold it all the way to this, to the line, all the way to the crease. Now I'm going to do that on all four. And again, make a nice firm crease. You're going to be using these creases to make your box. So I'm bend that out of the way. Go around. See, here's my bend. I'm going right to the bend there. Staying on that line. Nice crease all the way around. My point's still on the line. All we're mainly worrying about right now is getting the good creases and everything straight. 
okay? So now it's hard to tell probably in the video, but if you can see, I've got all these little creases. Now what I wanna do is on one side, I'm gonna cut, see how I've got a, a bend here, a crease here, and a crease here, and a crease there, and a crease there. I'm gonna take my scissors and on this side, and this side opposite and I'm going to go all the way in to to the second crease I'm going to cut along this crease and go all the way to that crease so now I've got this right here that's how it looks okay I'm going to turn it around and do the exact same thing on the other side I'm going to cut along this crease, this crease and this crease, all the way in to the second crease that goes this way. So now I've got this and this. Now on the other side, I don't want to do that because I would cut all the way in and I'd cut this corner off, but I don't want this to go away. So on the opposite to I'm only going to go in to the first crease here, along here. So just one spot. So where these look like they're nice, come up nice and tall, this is only going to come up to here. Like so. Turn around and do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay. Now for the fun part. You take the one the side that's your short side first. Let your long side just kind of lay down. Take your short side. And it's going to come up and make little, kind of like little arms. You see that? And the same with this. They're going to come in and kind of touch each other like that. Okay? Now this part is just kind of out of the way, the tall, tall part. And this is where the one that you cut all the way to the second one. It doesn't matter where the whether these are on the in or the out. It doesn't matter which way you do those. But see, this is going to bend down. This is going to come over. And again, crease really hard on the inside. I don't know if you can see on the inside here. I'm creasing firmly in here. This is why in a minute you're going to see you don't need tape, glue, or anything. So you're just pushing your creases in. Pushing that in against that. We're going to go the opposite side, same thing. Again, see with my fingers here, forcing that in. Now I've got it looks like that. So it still seems a little loosey-goosey. We're going to tighten it on the other side because this is going to come in. Again, force that down. Everywhere you're pushing the crease is nice and tight. This one goes down too. Take your fingernail, if you don't have a fingernail or you don't want to do that, you can take a, a sharp edge of something. Force that down. Now look, you got a nice dirty box, not going to go anywhere. No tape, no glue. That's your top. Okay, so now we're going to do the exact same thing with the bottom. And remember, we've cut it just a tiny bit smaller, so it can be our bottom. So again, first I'm going to take my point into the center, all four corners. And I'm going to go all the way over to where this bends up to that crease that I just made over there at that point. Make another crease. These creases that we're making here is what formulates this right here for us on the box. That's going to be our crease for the side of the boxes. So we do that on all four corners. Go all the way over now to that crease, keeping this point on the line that you drew making a nice crease. And you see I'm doing this quick so if it, everything doesn't line up pretty perfectly it's pretty forgiving there at the end. 
Okay, so now I'm going to try to make this where you can see it a little bit better this time. Give you a little bit more visual. I'm actually, this is not something you, you would normally do because when you're in person looking at it and not just looking on a video, you'd be able to see these creases. But I'm actually going to kind of draw where the creases are for you so you can see a little bit better where I'm cutting. I'm just drawing a line on those creases just for a visual for you right now. This is not a step that you have to take though. So now you have a little bit better visual. So remember on one side, I'm gonna cut on that crease in two spots. That's one, two. And again, one, two. To flip it around an exact opposite side, go in one, two, one, two. So now I've got that part. Okay, now over here, I'm only going to go into the first crease along that line. Right there, and as you can see, I'm doing it quickly, so I'm not always exactly straight, not exactly on the line. When you put it all together, it works. So now we're going to take our short side and go up with it first because it's got our little arms that come in and kind of hug each other. So while you're holding it with one hand, you're going to take the other part and tuck it down. And remember, creasing, creasing, from creasing, squeezing here, squishing in there, and getting that in the corner to the inside of the box really good. Go opposite side. Down we go. And the opposite, the big tall one. And we've got our bottom. And now, it should fit pretty snug. We didn't make it, we made it tidy enough for where it'll stay. It won't drop apart, but just tiny enough just smaller than, enough than this one that it will fit over it. And there's your box. And as you can see on some of my boxes, I was able to get some, some of the cute parts of the card. If you wanna take time to try when you're cutting out your square, you can line something up. Like see, I, could, I kind of accidentally got this little bird on there, but if I'd line things up a certain way, if you have a, a, a card like this maybe, and you want the people or you want the light post, if you want something in the center, you can try to just make it in the center of the square that you cut out of your card. Sometimes that's easier to do, sometimes it's difficult to do, uh, but you do just play with it. And then you can always, if you forget how to do it, you can always take your box apart because you haven't glued it. And you just push up in there, kind of just pull the little tabs out that you fold it in. Now it opens back up flat and you can kind of look at it and go, okay, how did I do that? And you have something to, to give you your pattern. Hope you enjoy doing it.